Good day everyone, and welcome to the Emanation Extreme, where we'll be facing off against Lakshmi in her empowered incarnation, made real by the sorrowful melody of the Wandering Minstrel. Before we start, it's important to revisit the main mechanic of this fight, the Vril. Unlike in the normal version of the encounter, Vril can be used up to three times before running out, and collecting a single glowing orb is enough to fully refresh all of its stacks. In addition, since Vril is used very often throughout the fight, I strongly recommend binding a hotkey to your duty action, allowing you to use it without the need to click the button every time. This can be done by opening your keybinds window and navigating to the very bottom of your hotbar list. During normal mode, Vril was only used to avoid two mechanics, the transition, the lowering embrace, and the knockback, divine denial. In extreme mode, however, three new Vril consuming mechanics are introduced. Firstly, Divine Desire, the polar opposite of the knockback mechanic, where Lakshmi will attempt to pull players into the center, stunning and applying bleed to anyone caught. After her transition, Lakshmi will also cast Divine Doubt, an ability that confuses all players and causes them to attack each other. The confusion itself cannot be avoided, and players should form pairs at each cardinal direction to mitigate friendly fire and avoid incurring losses. And lastly, we have the wild card mechanic, Chanchala. Similar to normal mode, this ability coats Lakshmi in a dark blue aura while active, but in extreme mode, it also empowers all of her normal mode abilities, requiring the usage of Rill by any targeted players. With these new additions in mind, let's see how differently the fight plays out in extreme mode. Upon engaging Lakshmi, it's important to place her near the edge of the arena, and establish the highest enmity on both tanks. This process is necessary due to the Path of Light mechanic, which always targets the player with the second highest enmity on the boss, as indicated by the spinning blue circle above their head. The preferred method of achieving this is to simply have the off-tank provoke Lakshmi without tank swapping. This will ensure the off-tank is placed just behind the main tank in terms of enmity. The tank roll action Shirk can also be used to great effect here by both the main tank and the off tank in order to contribute additional enmity to each other. Path of Light can then be placed towards the edge of the arena and away from the rest of the party. The area of effect is rather wide, so make sure no other players are caught in it. Failure to execute this mechanic properly will result in Path of Light landing on other party members who may or may not survive the attack or be able to reposition in time. As the fight progresses, all other normal mode mechanics will also make their appearances. Pull of Light, the main tank crush mechanic, Stotrum, the unavoidable party-wide AoE, Hand of Grace, the cross-shaped AoEs that must not overlap, Hand of Beauty, the circle AoEs that must be placed at the edges of the arena, and Pull of Light, the party stacking mechanic. However, while Lakshmi is under the effect of Chanchala, all of these abilities will require the usage of Vril to survive. Keep an eye out for the blue aura she emanates while this mechanic is active, and use your duty action hotkey accordingly. Upon nearing half health, Lakshmi will enter her transition phase, becoming invulnerable and spawning four stationary Ananta around the arena, stealing away all of the party's Vril. To get it back, players must eliminate the Ananta while they are under its effect, indicated by their status buff, as well as the bubble that visually surrounds them. The effect, however, will not last long on each target, and will bounce to a different enemy once its duration expires, or the host dies. Due to this, the party should first bring all the Ananta to low health, before finally killing them, as the Vril bounces from one low health target to another. Players have roughly 100 seconds to slay 3 Vil empowered Ananta, or risk not having enough Vril to protect themselves against Lakshmi's alluring embrace. Upon re engaging the boss, Lakshmi will introduce Divine Doubt, signaling the upcoming confusion mechanic. As covered before, players should use their Vril and split into pairs to mitigate the unavoidable friendly fire. At this point, all previous mechanics will repeat until Lakshmi is either defeated or enrages, but if you reach this point, 
that means you've already mastered all of the mechanics, and it's just a matter of time and fine-tuning your strategy to get your kill.